Hello viewers, let me show you how to make attractive PowerPoint presentation in 2025. If you are a PhD student, master student, or if you are depending your PhD thesis, master thesis, or if you are applying for fellowship, faculty position, postdoc, this technique, this approach applies to everything. So first of all, make your presentation short. This is very, very important because people do not take interest in lengthy presentations and you know in this today's social media time people very very rarely take interest so your presentation should be short and the, the, the standard slides number should be from 10 to 15. if it goes to 18 17 okay but i think this is very very standard your slides should be from 10 to 15. Now, how the audience will know that your presentation is short or lengthy? So you need to use this technique. You have to use this uh, insert page uh, slide number manually. This simply means that now I am in slide number one and the total slides are 11. So when the audience see this number, so they will become happy and they will not get bored because if my presentation is very, very bored, but at least they, they will think that, okay, come on, they, they, he has or she has only 11 slides. So you use this technique, right? Now, the second important thing is you must need to include TOC in your presentation, table of contents, and we also call outline here because the audience read it and they, they take interest from your table of contents that what are you going to cover in your presentation so table of content is very very important now the third important thing is basically the flow if there is no flow in your presentation so you know pe people will not take interest so flow means connection what does this basically mean this basically means that when you jump from one slide to another slide there must be a link there must be a connection so that people take interest in this this, this, is, this is this is for instance you are in two number slide a third slide and people are waiting for the fourth slide that what he or she is going to show us so this is basically mean flow or connections and when you get started your presentation so you are not supposed to read your uh, table of contents but you can tell you can say like this that the, 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 the outlines are the and the contents of my presentation as flashed or as displayed. You, you can say like this, or if you can uh, talk quickly about that, I'll discuss about my past project, then I will, I will talk about the future plan, something like that. So it is fine, but you are not supposed to read uh, one by one. So let's get started that, what are you going to include in, in your presentations and what, are, what will be the content of your presentation? So up, after my table of contents outline, I just simply follow that pattern. So now in this slide, I will talk about my education that, uh, and you must start from the latest. This is very, very important. Uh, people, uh, people, and you're not supposed to put your uh, uh, higher secondary school certificate, secondary school. To me, uh, uh, the bachelor, master, or PhD level is sufficient. And you must start from the latest, from the new because people take interest in the uh, new and you have to include all the detail your uh, thesis title dissertation titles and if you have awarded this thesis or gold medal something like that you have to include all detail here in this education section now the next i am talking about my employment and you can also write here experience this is also called experience here but i write here employment so you again start from your latest here. Uh, any type of experience you have, you have to display here. You are not supposed to hide because this is your assets. These are the very, very golden things with you. So you have to write everything about your experience here. So next I talk about my research funds. If you do not have a research fund, if you do not secure any funding nationally, internationally, so you should write your research project here research projects research projects i mean here you you done during your college your university and your final year project you completed your uh, research project 
do you include here? And I always suggest students that whatever you do, you must record it. You must keep the record of those projects because they say, okay, I did many FYP, I did many other projects, but I don't have any records. <laughs> Why you are not recording? Why you are not keep it in a secure place? Because uh, people take interest in your projects. Because when they hire you, they want to hire you as a PhD master or research fellow or faculty. They want to know that what is your experience about research? Can you do some projects? Have you completed some projects or not? So now in this slide, I, I talk about my research expertise. Very, very important this one here. Most people take interest in this slide because they, they, they know now that you know how to make a nanomaterial, how to synthesize nanomaterial, how many thin film deposition techniques you know, what is the characterization techniques you have used during your master PhD. So when they see this, they will they will get interest they will take interest in your profile in you because they they, they they they're looking for these kind of people that at least you know these characterization techniques or electrochemical techniques like here you know how to draw drops in origin how to use photoshop how to use references uh, softwares so you must need to include your uh, research expertise research experience in this slide this is a, a kind of reflection of your cv somehow uh, but it is in the form of uh, presentation. Now this is the, the, the breakdown of my uh, past work. Basically I done this project here, I mean during my PhD. So I want to show them that I know how to synthesize nanomaterial. And I just I want to link this work uh, with my publication because I want to tell them that this work was not wasted. I published this in General Apolizing Compound. So you have to write like this and give the uh, DOI for this uh, publication. If they want to uh, tell you that, click on this. So you can click and it will take you to that uh, publication website. Similarly, I show another my project because here I synthesize nanofibers. And you can see I don't put text here. I just put images. So you can uh, talk about these nanofibers. And again, you can link it with the uh, a publication you can uh, tell that we publish this work in general uh, material chemistry a uh, very prestigious journal here in fact of this and again you can put DOI if they want you to click on this link so you can uh, here click and it take you to the journal website and similarly this was my another project very interesting project hey, here I also talk about uh, what we have done in the past and I again link here with the uh, publication here so this was all about uh, my past work. Now you have to discuss your future plan. This is very, very important because they take interest in it. That what is your future plan? What is your research vision? This is also called research vision. What are you going to achieve in the five-year plans or something like that? So these are very, very interesting slides. So you have to uh, explain that this is my one, uh, a goal or objective this is my another objective and i want to uh, work on the beyond lithium ion batteries or something like that so this is now my another presentation slide about nine uh, slides so this is the future plan so you have to prepare your future plan uh, if you want to present something to someone or audience because uh, uh, they, they, they will be always playing uh, in your life. You, you, this, this does not mean that you completed something and there is nothing you are going to do in the future. So this means that the future plan must be there in your presentation. 